Hello, I decided I wanted to start making a save file because I was feeling the inspiration and this is a, in my way of distraction. But I felt the need to make a save file because I like lore, I like Sims lore, I like learning about Sims townies, and I like making up stories. And that is my favorite part of The Sims, is making up stories. And then I decided that I should document it because it's fun, and because also I, I might start a Let's Play in this world. I don't think I'm going to make an entire save file, but I'll do at least this neighborhood, I think. Yes, my computer sounds like an airplane. I realize that. I've made one family, one household, and I, I will, we will just go ahead and show them to you. It is the Vorhand household right here. Now this neighborhood I'm working on, I'm trying to make it like a poorer neighborhood because I think that's fun. I feel like it is the most fun when you have a, a range of everything, like different races and classes and all of the things. So I've started by making a poorish neighborhood. This family is actually kind of inspired by the Broke family from Sims 2. We have Antonio Vorhan, which is the teenage son. We will come back to him because I want to start with the parents. That makes the most sense. We have Jarth Vorhan and Gwen Winless. Notice that she does not have his name anymore because he just left. He's technically- I need to separate him from this household and put him in his own household, but he just has left the family. He's gone. The reason is because he's not a family person. He want- he has dreams of being fabulously wealthy, but then ended up in the bad side of town with a wife and two and a half kids. And that's just not the life he wanted. So he is up and he's, he's gone away. He has an entrepreneurial mindset. He wants to get rich and famous from a business he started. But the commitment issues is also goes into his business affairs. So the question left with him is whether or not he'll actually be able to be successful when he can't stay committed to a thing. Is this annoying? I don't think it's annoying. You're annoying. This is one of his everyday outfits because I have decided that whatever his newest business venture is, a pink raccoon is the mascot and he has to be the mascot. So that is what he is doing. But left at home is his wife, Gwen Windless. She is pregnant as you can see in the second trimester. She's unflirty now because the breakup has uh, turned her off to romance and general. Hello David. Hi. Say hi to my video. Hi. She's a friendly person. She has the neighborhood confidant and the insider person. And she is also a genius. She could be everything that Jarth <laughs> wants to be. That's the original reason that he was probably attracted to her in the first place. But she's also pretty lazy. D not Or not so much lazy. She, it's a mix of lazy and she is a free spirit. She does not really care to apply herself. She's very happy in the life that she is in. So even though she has all that potential, she's not really interested in applying herself. So we will see what happens with that. Their oldest son, Antonio Vorhand, he also has the same ambitions as his dad, except he is also family oriented. At least he's going to be family oriented when he's a young adult, because apparently you can't give that trait to teenagers. So he's instead insider and sweet. So his dream is to be higher up in life. He wants to get out from the other side of the tracks. He wants to get to the other side of the tracks, but the other side from where he is at. And also simultaneously have a family and also take care of the family he has now since his dad is gone. I've also decided that there's going to be a very Words are not coming to me today. Competitive. A very competitive high school sports team. Two rival high school sports teams of basketball because that's the only sport that I know of in The Sims, I think. As you can see from his thing, his school colors are uh, yellow and white. I don't know why I decided on this storyline since I don't personally enjoy sports very much, but there it is. And I like it and we're going with it. And then he has a little brother, Prince. He's a toddler, so that that's about as much as we have for his story. And then the mom is obviously pregnant at the moment, so Gwen also has another challenge afoot with her because she is very free-spirited and kind of absent-minded and it, it makes her not the best 
Mom, she's trying, she is, but the kids are raising themselves a little bit. Now I shall show the house that I built for them. Much inspiration has been taken from some of my surroundings because you'll notice lots of trees. Lots of trees I put in this lot because trees exist. And there should be more trees. There is trees everywhere that I know of, that I see. I just realized I haven't been recording, so I will have to go back and take recordings of them because I haven't been recording. I've been recording for 12 minutes and I haven't been recording on the thing. <sighs> But anyway, there's the trees, you see them. You'll notice there's a second house here that we have that hasn't been built. I put two houses on this lot, so that is a family that we will make at another time. But this is their house. Notice the basketball on the front lawn. I am very happy with like the vibe of just this yard. It's really funny to see just that line of trees when there's like nothing else here. But I'm trying really hard to get the vibe that I want. This is their house. They have themselves the bare necessities plus a little. They've got a little kitchen. That's a pretty nice kitchen. This dining table that's really crammed in there. And this uh, den with a little TV. The boys have to share this room. It is very cramped. There's a shelf. There's another basketball in case you didn't catch that theme. And then over here is more uh, sport things in case you didn't catch that theme. This is their avocado bathroom. And then the mom is over here in her room. She has a nice artwork on the wall because I feel like that's what she would have. And her little dresser. And then she gets her own bathroom, her own master bathroom with some folded laundry. So you know she can't be too terrible of a mother because she folded her laundry. She folded their laundry. Laundry. The laundry has been done, even though I don't have the laundry pack. I really liked making this house. I, it's really nice. I really like making tiny houses in The Sims is very fun to do. It's very satisfying. But that's all I have on that thing. I'm going to make more of these. And while I'm filming the outro, uh, I might as well film uh, this part that I miss. But anyway, I'm hoping to make a lot more of these. I hope you enjoyed uh, this story that I have made. I actually need to move him out of the household. I will do that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Storytelling is my favorite thing in The Sims, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to make more of these and fill this whole thing out and then let's play it. We should let's play it. Let's Play it. Anyway, let's move. We gotta move him out. We gotta move the dad out before we finish the video because he's left and he's gone. Oh, and there's the whole write-up I did for them. Being the head of the family was not part of Jarth's plan. To have a rich, free life now that he's left Gwen with two and a half children, will she be able to mother them well or will her own free spirit leave them to raise themselves? And will Jarth's commitment issues keep him from sticking with a business? business idea long enough to really build something. You know, you ever notice how like all the pre-made Sims townies in their bio, it always ends with like a question of, will this happen or will that happen? Like with the pancakes, it ends up with the question, will they manage to work things out or will they end up broken up? I think that's really a really good storytelling thing. With the Sims, it's just having a question. But anyway, bye bye sir. Why can't I move you? Oh, there you go. See, there now he's gone and they are left alone with each other which isn't really alone but not with him which is the important part I can't stop also I did put them on the gallery as well they have custom content in it so you'll have to have that button checked if you are interested if anyone cares I'm gonna make more of these I already did an outro so goodbye like and subscribe and do things go tell stories